How's it going guys? Welcome back to Lockhart Indigo. My apologies, I was gonna play this game like all at once, do a big blitz of it. It's like three to four hours long, so that seemed quite feasible. I ended up taking a few days off, reshuffled the schedule, it's just how things go sometimes, but I'm happy to be coming back to it and I'm excited to learn more about the full game. I'm curious if anything will be slightly different since I was playing the demo and I carried over my save file to the full 1.0 release here. And so I'll have to see maybe hopefully nothing game breaking there, maybe just minor, minor adjustments will have taken place. So we had just found Yvonne's will, where Lloyd is set to inherit everything. We all also found that Lloyd lied on Yvonne's behalf. So we'll have to follow up on that. I have a gate key and the business key that I can use to access a few new areas. Like this. This would be a business key one, so I'm gonna go right ahead. It's right here, it's easy. I think there's a couple, a couple business key doors around this mansion, no. Well, the basement's too spooky. I don't want to go straight to the basement just yet. The chic door. <laughs> they just have one door in the house that's like extra elevated. That's a good bu buzzword to go along with that. The power of money. Oh, is that like the android lady from the opening part of the game there? Wait, is all of that are, is that like the office and all the different rooms from the opening of the game? This photo seems important. I bet it's a secret passage. This is my running theory all of a sudden. Based on like so little information. Huh. <laughs> I'm, I'm used to rooms downstairs having, you know, like a furnace room. Or something like that. This seems far more elaborate than any of that. Oh, I forgot that there's a quick travel option. I'll have to keep that in mind, because that's going to be useful. There's a lot of branching. I like the music down here. Creating an industrial sound with, like, this low-bit music is pretty interesting. How many robots are they manufacturing down here? Oh, the <laughs> it, it threw me off for a second to, like, enter a battle. Schmidt! We don't allow visitors here. And just who are you? The name's Schmidt. I work security. Oh man, the animations for the characters in these little moments, these little battles are actually so good. I love the extra little details in it to just make it, uh, give it that much more personality. I keep an eye on the basement. So you were here keeping watch during last night's murder? He's <laughs> Uh, I could throw some facts in his face, but I don't know if either of these would really... Maybe who found the body would be important. Oh, why did that just dwindle away at his, his thing once there, for me not even selecting an option? So you were... Where are you from? <laughs> None of you. None of your business. <laughs> Tell me a bit about yourself. Why? I want to learn more about... Eh. I see. Between our, our coats, glasses, and hats, we're really in a cool guy contest here. Just see who can out-aloof the other. <laughs> Avoiding questions. Mocking me. You're right. He's probably guilty. We should accuse him right now. This is someone who disregards authority. He thinks he's a cut above the rest. Like nothing can touch him. I need to knock him down a peg. Strike a little fear in his heart. Well, I could tell him that I know that Yvonne found the body. If he's security, then maybe he probably should have known something about that. Nope. Loose lips sink ships. Alright, I don't want to give up the fact that I know details. That was my bad. So where are you from, Nenia? Oh, well, I got nothing out of this guy. I feel like I've... I botched this one. Somehow I didn't uh, get to enter into the part where I get to start using my powers. So, that's... That one didn't go so well. Seems like I maybe need uh, additional evidence to bring to Schmidt before he'll be willing, 
willing to share anything of value. This isn't very chic. An old door. It's, it's more doors than I thought to keep track of. Why is there so much blood tracked all around here? The crafty door. I've maybe been to that door. Am I just on the other side of it all of a sudden? Oh, that is totally new. Okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm just kind of refreshing myself who's where. Oh, that totally is the robot lady hanging out in that side room there. Hey, ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Are, are they all just super excited to greet me, or are they broken? Someone visited Mr. Volkov last night. That seems like important information. Where's number 29? Someone visited... I, I like... Are, do you guys count as witnesses? Probably not, since, like, you could just be programmed to say anything. Oh. Was that my, my one gate key? Oh, it unlocks any gate. How to find the body. Oh! I think we just looped around to somewhere we've potentially been before? Maybe? <laughs> Books on team building exercises. Like, there should be a. F yeah! Okay, we have been there before. It's interesting that we're starting to, like, connect independent parts of the mansion here, but that's not really helping us too much. Here's the missing robot. There's where they would be, I guess, more accurately. And this should be somewhere we've been before as well. A, a key to manufacturing. I believe Lloyd had one. Yeah, we've already talked to all of them. So, oh, so here's another business key spot. Great. <laughs> I was going to try and find Yvonne to follow up on his story about finding the body. But we'll deal with this first. The crystal ball will show you what you seek. Join me and peer into the all-knowing eye. Seat, my child. I don't really think we'll solve the murder through fortune telling, but we can try. Crystal ball, crystal ball, someone near heeds your call. What do you seek? Ah, uh, let's try and look at my powers. Floor three. I see in an archive. Ball of crystal, ball of crystal, another eye is seen, leaving to pray still. Your eyes now bear witness to the true power of the crystal ball. Come back anytime, my child. Alright, what did I possibly just unveil nothing it seems like maybe nothing I'm trying that again oh he's tired come back later dang it <laughs> I don't know if I wasted it I don't know if that's like a critically important part of everything oh, it's rooms upstairs I've dealt with that I gotta try and get to Yvonne here oh wait He's totally sealed up behind here. <laughs> or, uh, I'm trying to make sure I keep my Yvonne's and Ivan's and everything s straight. I want to go see the one who's not dead. <laughs> Did you talk with my dad yet? No, no, I haven't quite figured out how to get access to the old boy. Uh, just to the southeast of where I went and visited Lloyd. There is another old door here, which I, I still don't have a key for. I just am not confident if I saw that before. And Ivan's office. Which, have I been to this before? He kind of gets his own theme song, it sounds like. Something special going on there. A key to Ivan's offices. I believe Schmidt had one. Ah, uh, so we're starting to get pointed towards... <laughs> back towards the basement there. Maybe I can re-battle... And, and just bring up more relevant information and not not chase him away. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use my first fast travel. I don't think they're limited or anything. Oh, is there just one of these per floor? That makes it simpler to keep track of then, doesn't it? This song in particular 
it has more of an Undertale quality than than any other. I don't have a strong musical ear, so I couldn't tell you specifically what it that, when that part kicks in. Now it becomes less that. But uh, there, there's something about the opening part that does remind me of it. My musical ear is not strong enough to like start saying what specific elements of it give me that impression. All right, Schmidt, we got to try this again. Yes. Well, first thing we could just try and read. Already gone to the where are you from and all that. Nothing new there. I guess I could ask about the will, but that seems like it'll similarly just shut down the conversation. No, unrelated. Well, I don't understand how to access the powers. Do you know what? There was the the room there that I wasn't sure if I had gone to. That was like the Ivan's office access. And there's probably an equal and equivalent room I haven't gone to, which might have all been blocked off before. This. Oh. But I got locked in, which has never happened to me before. So that threw me off quite a bit. A doctor. Times like these... We must remain detached. We must stay rational. Well, yeah, I'm sure it's a difficult part of your job. Books about preserving dead bodies. Ew, why? Books about the different sections of the brain and books about the spinal cord and nervous system. Why are these creepy doctors who are creating a Frankenstein, obviously creating a Frankenstein's monster, except, you know, this time it'll be like Lloyd, not Vaughn's monster. Why? <laughs> oh. Or is it that the robot who committed murder is a real person preserved inside of like a cyborg? Or an android? However that would be defined. But that's my new running theory is that's why they would have doctors on hand like that. Kit? Hello, my name is Dr. Kit Bridges. How may I help you, miss? First, tell me how you get your hair so shiny. What's it like, Doc? Working on bodies? <laughs> Direct, but also so vague. The general public does not understand. Simpletons looking at my work with disgust. Some even say that autopsy is sacrilege. I mean, are you doing it in like a fundamentally weird way, or are you just doing your normal job? You kind of are giving me an eye as if maybe you're doing something a little crazy. Unho unholy and intrusive, they say. Frankly, I can't understand their point of view. Can't they see my diligence? Can't they see all my hard work? I'm one of the finest minds of the era. I see. Didn't even answer the question. <laughs> it was a weird question, Beatrice. Gets a bit in his own world. Gotta bring him back to reality. And that bit about finest minds? All this bravado. But really, he's compensating. See, now, why won't this open up? I must need something more specific. I must need facts relevant to this character to open up that option as, like, a, a branch. Well, we have two of our four guys in the, in the top right there now that we've worked towards. Blood on the sink. I blocked myself off from looking more closely. Books about the laws and ethics of medicine. Books about the history of medicine and books about prestigious universities. <laughs> that seems super lame to just write about the universities like that. You just are so hammed up on being like an Ivy League graduate that you just want to read all about them. A small blood stain. That's like the first time we've just like eyeballed some witness. It's not a very common approach here from this character. What the heck? The dead body of I Evan Volkov. His throat was slit open ear to ear. New evidence. Cause of death was added to your notes. Ew. It takes cold blood to do such a thing. That's weird that we managed to just get access to the body. Or blind rage. Like, I have no idea how this was, like, not protected. It's also very gross and weird that, like, 
the autopsy and everything is happening right in this guy's house. He just has everything necessary for that right here. Strange. Welcome back. Oh, see, he's like, he's recharged though, I think. I, I think we can newly start chiseling away at his psyche. Neck slit. Ear to ear. That makes me think of McGarnagle in The Simpsons. You've unlocked a testimonial. Doc, what happened to Mr. Volkov? I am terribly sorry. I cannot share private information. <laughs> they should have put a lock on that door. <laughs> what do you mean? I need the details, Doc. My hands are tied. Persuade skills are now available. There we go. Okay. Power my point of view or flatter his ego he's very confident what should i focus on his work ethic his humility he's not i don't think he has any humility you take your work seriously it proves you're a diligent person oh i'm only doing my job miss really that's not the attitude i thought attack their character he does have a lot of ego you let me waltz in there. I already saw the body. I think you're just not cooperative. <laughs> Pardon me? Oh, really? That didn't work? I thought that would, like, blast him for sure. Their point of view? I know you want to be professional and all. I understand, Doc. I'm glad you do. Oh, wait. That one thing I did did work. I forgot that the wheel wearing down lock is good. <laughs> So drop it. Shit. <laughs> I should have realized. Uh, oh, it's keeping track of which ones I've used, which is really helpful. What should I focus on? Sense of duty or the press? Oh, this guy seems like he would really love some attention from the press. What do you got for me, Doc? I can't share my observations until the family says so. You know, one of them is responsible for this. Uh, of course. I knew that. Oh. Did I unlock? With the right words, the right intonations, ironworks give way, and the heart spills its secrets. All right, you've made your point. Here are the gruesome details. A crude laceration above the trachea. The weapon was neither clean nor sharp. So, an old rusty tool, something like that. Wasn't it specifically a knife? And then that opening sequence? Now I don't know. Jugular veins and the carotid, car carotid, carotid, carotid arteries split. 1.3 gallons of blood, gone within minutes. The man lost 10% of his body weight. Good grief. A troubling detail indeed. Ugh, I don't like thinking how much of my body weight is blood. That's really awful. You think this was personal? Miss, it is not my place to speculate. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> me and Beatrice. Depending what me could mean either in that situation. I've also noted defensive wounds. This time from a sharp weapon. Oh, there's a bit of both then. Suspect's secrets. I'm trying to think of what... Like, the knife could have been the original defensive thing. And maybe he was never killed with the actual knife. Maybe someone else finished him off. Or just like a robotic, rusty hand. I found this key on Evan's body. It was tied to his neck. It leads to his, his bedroom downstairs. I don't... I, I can't believe I got... I received that. How is your marriage? Like partners in crime. <laughs> He loved me very much. And did you love him? I, um, I admired his work. Well, that's, that's one thing, I suppose. Not the greatest foundations for a marriage. The crafty key was added to your keys. Now I'm just swimming in keys. The docks ward. Ugh. Never get over how weird it is that this exists. How rich do you have to be <laughs> to start including your own doctors? Oh, before being a Volkov. Who were you? Uh, Beatrice? We must prepare the body. Oh, Beatrice. 
I'll admit, I'm hurt. Oh, come on, guys, why? <laughs> Pearl Harbor. It changed everything. I'm okay. Can I just blast through? Can you guys get out of the damn way? Jesus. <laughs> All right, first floor down in the basement. This is it. My husband's last hours were spent here. Oh, so the room I was looking in and wasn't the one I thought. I hope they were good ones. I mean, maybe the last hours, but the last minutes, no, not at all. Oh, we're totally back at the scene of the crime, like that opening scene here. This is what I've been looking for. I haven't tried to call for help. That's when the killer landed a killing blow. <laughs> Evan collapsed on the floor. Oh, I like her surveying the scene and like putting it together. The killer then dragged him away. Man, he was bleeding a lot. That's so messy. <laughs> Bloody pair of slippers. Worn by the killer, I suppose. Removed right before fleeing. But we're not going to log that one away as, as evidence. I don't want to go to the crazy bloody room yet. Oh, we, we would have already investigated all of this stuff as the other character. Persuade. Your max hit points have increased. Oh, dope. <laughs> Ow, my fucking eyes. Oh, <laughs> I looked, looked straight into the projector. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, that's really funny. <laughs> Ooh, a knife. There's blood on it, but very little. Something else killed him. The fight must have started here. The bags under my eyes haven't left. Oh, I thought maybe there was like a crack in the mirror. Thought that might be a part of uh, the clues. Yeah, so same as we thought. The knife itself is not the murder weapon. It's just like a robotic rusty hand. Oh my god, there's so much blood. <laughs> Empty except for an open bottle of wine. Did the killer change Evan's bloody clothes? Oh, because if it's that weird robot maid, then was it like, Oh, Mr. Volkov, you're dirty. We need to change you. Looks like the tub was used. The killer seems to have rinsed Evan of blood. There's still some dried to the surface. There's also a shiv made out of a metallic shard. Most likely what opened Evan's throat. Cause of death level two, random metal shard, which we have no source. I don't gotta piss. <laughs> Very most vulgar way you could have went about that, really. Well, pretty gruesome down there. Oh, this is quite intimidating. Hello, detective. What came first? Oh, I'm getting quizzed. I'm guessing the knife. What came second? Would that have been the slippers? The slippers taking them off would have been the last thing, I'm sure. To avoid having any bloody footprints. Take the slippers off, you got clean feet. The phone, maybe. The bath, and then the slippers from the killer? Do you have a sharp eye, detective? Was that right? So much blood. My husband's killer. What kind of man is he? Oh, who says it's a man? He! Our suspect is male? The Volkov family only has two women. N Nasha and I. Oh, this, this is the room that all the robots were lining the walls in. That totally makes sense. Creepy. But pretty cool, actually. <laughs> One of those is totally the... The killer. One of those robots. It seems like I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay firm with that throughout. Painter. <laughs> the blank canvas laughs at him. <laughs> his heart like a missing limb where will he find it where could it be where is my love my muse 
My thing of beauty. Huh. Was he not real? <laughs> Are there ghosts all of a sudden that I need to be concerning myself with? Collection of paintings, blank canvas. I guess it makes sense that the crafty key would go to a room of crafts? Like that checks out. But also, what? <laughs> That's mostly, mostly how I feel about that. Oh, he teleported to a different part of the house. The lonely painter in his home. The size too big, and so he roams. Am I supposed to chase this guy down? What is that? A llama? Oh, I almost forgot to rhyme. Um, something, something. What a dilemma. What is going on? Is this guy leading me to evidence? There's a lot of paintings in this house. If I had a cottage instead of a mansion, a love for nature, she had once mentioned. I don't have the key for that, so I hope he didn't go there. Hey, a businessman. I should have been with deep pockets and a heart made of tin. Well, now he's probably in that room I can't access. Maybe potentially chased him as far as we could. What a peculiar... here. What? <laughs> I really just don't know what to make of it. All right, Schmitty, Schmidt, Schmidt. I just got. I I was trying to find a the phone to fast travel. I couldn't remember where the heck it is. Didn't need it. Wandered into it. Somewhat intentionally, but not not overly intentionally. Yes. Ooh, I got like a, a shield on my heart now. Well, cause of death is about the only thing I can show him that he hadn't seen before. You've unlocked a testimonial. What's that? It's a shiv. Possibly the murder weapon. I need all the info you can give. Also, this thing is the same color as you. I don't know if that matters in this world. I can't help you. Can't or won't. Both. Spit it, schmuck. Burn on his name. It's Schmidt. Yeah, I know. Of course I know. Yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> Persuade skills now available. I think from my point of view, you're terrible at your job. What should I focus on? Press the proximity. The suspect? Proximity. So much for security. A man dies across the hall? You couldn't be bothered to help? Hey, I didn't hear a thing. Machinery here is too loud. Right. Maybe you should have set up elsewhere then. Idiot. From their point of view, try to understand the situation. Industry secrets. I get it. Just leave. Not quite, eh? Well, hurt ego. He is a schmuck and he's bad at his job. Belittle him. You know enough to land your boss in hot water. So you cover your own ass and you keep quiet. I can either confirm or deny. You're a coward, Schmidt. Blasted through this guy. Didn't even stand a chance against our tough, stern iron gaze. With the right words, the right intonation, iron works give away and heart spills its secrets. Fine. You didn't hear this from me, okay? Seems to be made from a robot part. You know, the cute ones. I heard those bots have extra features. Bedroom? Features? Hey, you said it. Not me. That's not at all what I would have thought that these two were talking about. Gross. <laughs> so, Evan had a mistress. A mistress made of metal and wires. Last night, she had her way with him. And I don't mean in the bedroom. The night of the murder. Oh, so she could have just done the stabbing, and not the final killing, I guess. The knife stabbing, not the metal shiv stabbing. She pulled a knife on him, but he knocked her out. He reached the phone, but before he could call for help, she ripped off a piece of herself and used it as a shiv, opening his throat and killing him. Ooh, cause of death level three. Although now it sounds like we have it solved, don't we? 
Like, that seems quite open and shut all of a sudden. But I think there's plenty more game to be played, so... There's something in there for you. Obviously, things are about to open up even wider than before. What are all these different key access points? The, I'm, I'm in, like, the manufacturing something. Oh, I was about to, like, save. What was that, though? A child laughing? That was creepy as hell. I didn't like it. Not a fan. All right, not going that way. Creepy door. <laughs> Don't have access to it anyways. I'm going to go and save and round things out. The chic key. Okay. <laughs> I guess I had to go all the way to the one side first. Creepy. Won't like who? Oh, I, I, our next suspect. I missed the first part, but presumably she just said you won't like them. Huh. <sighs> now all of a sudden between this ghost painter and weird creepy children laughing and stuff, there's like seemingly more going on here than an already quite glared, intriguing mystery. Ah, oh, this game is so cool. I'm very excited to see more. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon.